which hormone is primarily responsible for initiating labor correct answer is option b oxytocin hormone a pregnant woman at 32 weeks complains of severe epigastric pain and vomiting what is the most likely diagnosis correct answer is option b help syndrome in a postpartum woman sudden dyspnea and chest pain may indicate correct answer is option b pulmonary embolism which fetal heart rate pattern is most concerning for hypoxia correct answer is option c late declarations a woman with gestational diabetes is at highest risk for correct answer is option b microsomia which condition is contraindication for magnesium sulfate correct answer is option c mesthenia gravis a newborn with a bilirubin level of 18 at 24 hours old requires correct answer is option b exchange transfusion which finding is most indicative of placental abruption correct answer is option b rigid tender uterus a woman with group b streptococcus colonization should receive antibiotics correct answer is option b during active labor the most common cause of postpartum hemorrhage is correct answer is option b uterine atoning a pregnant woman with a history of deep vein thrombosis should receive correct answer is option b heparin which condition increases the risk of shoulder dystocia correct answer is option b maternal diabetes a non tree assuring fetal heart rate pattern requires correct answer is option d all of the above the best indicated of adequate fetal oxygenation during labor is correct answer is option b fetal heart rate variability a woman with severe preeclampsia is at risk for correct answer is option b eclampsia which drug is used to prevent rh isoimmunization correct answer is option b rho t immune globulin a new bond with granting nasal flaring and detractions likely has correct answer is option b respiratory distress syndrome the most accurate method for assessing gestational age is correct answer is option c ultrasound in the first trimester A woman with a previous cesarean section can attempt a VBAC vaginal birth after cesarean if Correct answer is option C A newborn with a sectal dimple and tuft of hair should be evaluated for Correct answer is option B spina bifida occulta which vaccine is safe in pregnancy correct answer is option c tdap a woman with polycystic ovary syndrome is at higher risk for correct answer is option b 
gestational diabetes. The best time to administer antenatal corticosteroids is Correct answer is option B. Between 24 to 34 weeks if preterm delivery is expected. A woman with a BMI is greater than 30 is at increased risk for Correct answer is option D. All of the above. A baby born at 35 weeks with hypoglycemia should be fed. Correct answer is option C. Breast meal or formula. The most common cause of neonatal sepsis is. Correct answer is option B. Group B streptococcus. A woman with a prolapsed cord should be placed in which position? Correct answer is option C. Knee chest. Which vitamin deficiency causes neural tube defects? Correct answer is option C. Folic acid. A newborn with persistent cyanosis may have Correct answer is option B. Congenital heart disease The APGAR score assess Correct answer is option B. Newborn transition